Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Nat Bothwell. I'm the pastor here at Bethlehem Lutheran Church in Slater, Iowa. And you're watching our Sunday morning live stream on this fifth Sunday after Pentecost 2020. I am uh, live streaming from an empty sanctuary this morning. I got an email on Friday that a parishioner of our church tested positive for COVID-19. And so I contacted our live stream team yesterday to say, please sit this one out. So that was a virtual William, everyone, uh, on the prelude. Uh, Erica is at home moderating, and this is a real test of this system and, and what we've been putting into place now since March. I'm gonna check my email or my text here just real quickly. Uh, no warnings yet from Erica that the audio is bad. We're going to go forward from here. Uh, this is a worship. It's not a performance. Uh, welcome, everyone, for being here. Obviously, I won't be joining you for the worship in the park at 10 a.m. this morning. I've already contacted Pastor Padma. Uh, she has it all under control. Ron and Kathy Klein, thank you for your help with music this morning in the park. Folks, I'll be tested on Tuesday, and it will be the first of several, I imagine. And that comes with the territory. Amina and I um, knew the score when, um, when this all began. And so we'll do that, and we'll continue to be as, as safe and, and as, as quick to move as we can be. And why are we doing that? Well, we're doing that for the sake of others. And that's something that we all can do in this time. A few announcements this morning. Our altar flowers are given to the glory of God by Paul and Ann Mills in celebration of their wedding anniversary. Paul and Ann, they are also reading this morning's gospel, so thank you, and thank you for your active participation in these Sunday morning live streams. You are a wonderful addition to this Bethlehem community, and we give thanks for these flowers, and we give thanks for you. Barb wanted me to be sure to let everyone know that Phyllis Soderstrom is celebrating a birthday next Sunday, and this is a, a big one. This is her 100th birthday. Uh, Phyllis is staying at Bethany Manor in Story City, you can still send her a card or a note. I know they will make sure that she gets it. Uh, Phyllis, happy birthday from your friends at Bethlehem. We are remembering you this morning, um, and that is quite something to celebrate. We are praying for our friend Kim this morning. Kim was admitted to Mary Greeley this week. Kim and her daughter Nikki uh, have been watching these live stream services faithfully over these last several weeks. And we are remembering you both this morning. Hang in there. And thank you for being part of this community. Welcome Barb and Jim from Twin Lakes. Welcome Lori, also at Twin Lakes. Rana, good morning. Doug and Brenda, good morning. Joyce and Jana and Denny, Mike, and Julie, they're at Clear Lake this morning. Hi, you guys. I think, I think that we are good. And uh, I'm sure my phone will blow up if, if there's an issue. So, so let's proceed. Folks, our service always begins with a word of confession and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this time, we remember the reality that we are simultaneously sinners and saints. We bear the image of God in our living and through our loving, and yet the reality is we routinely fall short of all that Christ calls us to. In this time together each week, we ask God for forgiveness. We ask God to make us new from the inside out. Here we name the reality of our brokenness and we simply ask God for help. Church, if you know these words, I invite you to say them with me. Gracious God, forgive us, renew us, and lead us. 
that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Bethlehem, in the name of Jesus Christ, and by his authority, I declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. You are great, O God, and greatly to be praised you have made us for yourself and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Grant that we may believe in you, call upon you, know you, and serve you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our gospel reading this morning is from Matthew's 11th chapter. Again, thank you to Anne and Paul for, for your reading. And Rose, the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowd saying, to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Well, a yoke is a farming implement. It's a piece of ag tech. Jesus knew about ag tech before ag tech was even a thing. Imagine that. A yoke distributes the weight of a plow. It distributes the force of whatever it's pulling. A yoke acts as a fulcrum, distributing and sharing the burden of the weight. In Jesus' day, two oxen would have been yoked together to pull or to plow. A yoke would have made any job easier not that plowing and pulling anything is necessarily easy. Come to me, all of you who are growing tired, Jesus says. Come, all of you who are feeling weighed down and overloaded. Take my yoke upon you, he says. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. A yoke is made for two. Two oxen, two cattle, two draft horses. When what you've been doing stops working for you, come to me, Jesus says. Whatever you're yoked to now, when that fails you, lean on me, learn from me, Jesus says. We yoke ourselves to all kinds of things that don't give life. 
We yoke ourselves to insensitivity and indifference. We bind ourselves to fear and guilt. We yoke ourselves to the pursuit of material stuff. We bind ourselves to fixed positions and political ideologies and all sorts of uncharitable assumptions. When what you've been doing stops working for you, come to me, Jesus says. Lean on me as you learn from me. Christ calls us to himself as he pours himself out. Christ calls you to himself as he promises to pull beside you and for you. That you might know his peace. That you might know the extent of God's love for you and for all of creation. Christ calls and accompanies in person as he himself has already done the heavy lifting that you and I might know some rest in our souls. Faith receives that news. When you're ready, when you reach that point of surrender, that place of obedience, a little bit of belief and maybe some trust, the yoke of God's grace is waiting to receive you. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for your near presence always. Turn us from those things that weigh us down. Turn us again in the direction of your love for the world in Jesus Christ. Grow our faith in this time of distance and discipline. Lead us as we lean on you. Give rest to the weary this morning. Send healing and wholeness to all who are sick. We are praying for Kim and Nikki this morning. We are praying for Rick. We give thanks for Randy Joe's return home and signs of recovery. We give thanks, O oh God, on this Independence Day weekend for the gift of Christian liberty. In Christ, we are ultimately and eternally free from the weight of sin and death. In Christ, we are perpetually free to love and serve others here and now. Help us to live as faithful reflections of you, O oh Lord, draw near to us in that labor always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have a song, a special song, from the BLC Choir this morning. They're not here. No one's here. I don't know why I'm looking around. Um, these virtual hymns are quite difficult to put together. And so our, our sincere thanks to Andy and William and to all who contributed to this compilation of, of, of sound and, and, and video. This is my song.
Thank you, Bethlehem Choir. Friends, the peace of Christ be with you all. Let's share signs of that peace with one another. Peace. Peace to you, Stephanie, in New York City. Thank you for helping our friend Lucy get online this morning. Peace, Kim, in southern Iowa. Peace to you, Bill and Julie. Peace, Susie. Barb and Craig. The peace of Christ be with you, Cleverly family. And Joe, peace be with you. Gathered into one by God's living spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends, let us know if you have any specific prayer requests this week. Again, congratulations, Paul and Anne. Happy anniversary also to Dave and Anne this morning. They had an anniversary earlier this week. Again, if you're joining everyone in the park, um, I won't see you. Um, but please do bring your face mask. Bring a lawn chair. Remember to distance. Uh, these are things we can easily do. Uh, if you need a mask, we still have some in the tote on the west entrance of the church. And our thanks to our sowers who have been sowing since March to provide those. Happy Independence Day weekend, everyone. It's, it's not as we remember, but we are together nonetheless, and we're, we're getting through this. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Bethlehem, go in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks be to God. Have a great week, everyone.